Hey everyone, it's Matt from Armstrong Gaming. This is Series 1 of XCOM. Man, it feels like forever since last time I played this, so... We've got a few little bits and pieces that are going on. We've got six days to a cancer report, an operation for... Well, against Exalt, so Covert Op and 4. Got an interrogation going, got a couple of satellites coming in, a bunch of satellites coming in. Damn, look at all those satellites. Um, we haven't got creds. Let's have a look at the grey market. Oh yeah, that's why I got a bunch of satellites coming in. Oh yeah. I forgot that this one was all messed up. Uh, as I said, it's been a while. Um, I haven't been updating much this last week. We've had a pretty hectic um, last seven days or so. Uh, including two trips to a hospital, one broken bone, one cast, uh, seven days worth of migraines and a whole bunch of other stuff and none of this was to me my girlfriend's had a pretty troubled couple of days which is unfortunate but these things happen let's have a look at mission control i don't want to harp on that too much um so we got the sectoid so, interrogation go so let's go, watch doctor. this cutscene better than expected before the creature expired i was able to extract some new information from it you're saying that thing spoke to you not precisely but when you have access to a creature's brain certain patterns can be discerned recent images and thoughts and what exactly was our late friend thinking about this particular image appeared in the creature's thought pattern several times throughout the procedure we've already met that thing doctor this is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were and there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one that's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Alright, science disclaimer. Science doesn't work that way. There we go, science disclaimer over. <laughs> okay. So we're going to be trying to capture an outsider alien. Uh, we've also been given credit for beam weapons, which is kind of nice. As you can see, they're there. Um, which allows us to go on and do the other bits and pieces as if we'd researched it. What do I want? What the floater we can interrogate? Oh, I don't know. Alright, let's do this while I have a bit of a think. Ah, so, this will give me a little bit of time after the main combat, hopefully, to be able to think through exactly where I want to take my research in this build. Yeah. Alright, so, we've got some meld, we've got some creds, um... Let's have a look at our soldiers. That's right, we got this weird array of soldiers. We got this weird array of terrible soldiers too. Ow, so look at some of them, they're atrocious. Alright, I'm going to do what I do in my other series, so if you don't follow that series and you're not sure what I'm talking about, you should probably check it out, especially watch that first episode. The first episode I sit down and do a long spiel on about how soldiers can be benefited by having um, not credit equally and hidden potential on. So I talk about that in great detail and I'm putting in effect everything based off that plus all my other bits and pieces of learning that I've done throughout playing this game uh, for YouTube twice now. Um, I wanted to go up to 30, I like even numbers, but we're going to buy out the maximum amount of soldiers we can get, so in three days time we'll get that, uh, which will happen just slightly after our covert op. Alright, so let's scan for... What do we get? Basic armor tech. Alright. 
Oh, good. I'm going to do a plasma rifle. Probably shouldn't, but I am. Launch. Just, just move it. Alright, four of eight. Clearly we need to focus on the ones that we can get under control. We're going to pick up Egypt because we need the all-in bonus. I know I'm not going to get much for it, but it's better than nothing. So, we went up from 261 to 486 because of that one satellite. That is how important all in is. And now we're going to be basing our next decision on. Wow, Russia gives a lot of money. And also gives scientists. We don't want scientists, we need engineers. So we're going to go to the US. View ship list. Oh. And we can't order one either. To the grey market. We need to sell stuff. I need the monies. I'll go down to about 300. Alright. That'll do. Engineering build facilities, settle up up link one day remaining. Okay. Damn, I had it a second ago. It was like, I, want, I need to do this, so I will do it. I just need money for it. Oh, yeah, ship. <laughs> completely forgot. Order intercepted done. Oh, apparently the new soldiers will arrive before the covert op. No, nah, didn't happen. All right. Covert op, send extraction team. So this is going to be our mission for this uh, episode, and that you will this with what do you mean no idea in it? Oh lord! All right, maybe I shouldn't have done what I did. And it'll teach me. I wonder if tactical rigging is there. Yeah, it is. ETA seven days. All right, cool. Uh, yep, cool. Covert. Hang on, who's on the covert mission? If it's Martinez, and yeah, not a big loss. Oh, it's Munez. Oh, I wanted to look at her and see if she's worth saving. Alright, we gotta go. We gotta do this. Send extraction squad. Launch mission. I've got no choice in who I'm taking. Rocket and heavies. Sniper. Load out. Oh. Right. Oh man, I forgot how terrible some of these dudes are. Oh. They're just. Ah. Oh. Alright. Um. I don't really remember this one that well. Alright, so I can't remember if this is the first Exalt mission or not. Alright, so we need to do. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is one of those ones where you need to keep your operative alive and they need to do the work. They're the only ones who can do it. Now, I'm going to use the alleyway because the first one that I'm probably going to be able to get to is there, followed by that one. So, there. Alright, no spots and weiss. Let's put him there. Normally I'd go through the building, but I, I don't know. I've got a real bad feel about it. I think the alleyway, with its brick wall to the side and the end of the map on the other side, will give me a lot more theoretical cover and focus fire forward and backward alone with very little sideways movement um, in terms of where shots need to be placed. So they can't flank me, is what I'm trying to say. 
Um, and because of that, I should be able to survive a little bit better with one shot. Now, I've got Mjolnir's over here. I want to just... I just want to keep her under wraps. I don't want her to get into trouble. So we're just going to chuck her on Overwatch and leave her where she is. Um, if, if things go badly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll start running her, but... Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it will go too bad for her. I really hope it doesn't. Uh, this is definitely not the first Exalt mission. Like, um, I've got guys who've got Exalt sniper rifles equipped. Um, and I've talked about how much of a joke that their characters can be, the Exalt guys. Because they've got such low aim. But, here we go. We've started. Oh, one's gone up, one's gone in, and one's gone into the alleyway. Oh, Christ. You've got a 50% there and a 50% there. We're going to shoot the guys high because he gets us uh, an aim bonus against our guys for shooting down upon them. 73% chance. Taking it. Sahara, come on, baby. You suck. <laughs> she has her moments. I should have probably given her the scope, but I figured, eh, what the hell. Fifty-one percent chance I've got to kill. Oh lord! It's one of those games where you're just like, well, these guys aren't good enough. It's almost worth scrapping and starting again. Sometimes. If you're where I am currently, where you guys just aren't up to the stuff and they don't have the skills that you require from an elite special forces unit which is what these guys are meant to be scrap your game start fresh and while I'm not going to start fresh myself um, I've got another series which will probably go all the way through to completion this one will probably go a little bit short of oh dear yeah, go up make it harder for me cheers bruh <laughs> Who are you shooting at though? Oh, alright. Just the camera angle looked weird. Oh, where did he come from? Good thing he hit the post and not my guy. 51% chance. Alright, finally got a kill. See, and that's the difference between my operatives. This guy's got a 76% chance, and that's because of his starting aim score being an 80 and going up from there. Whereas everybody else is like, you know, 60s to begin with, which is just unacceptable. Um, and you really want a like, top of, you know, top shelf, you know, your best of the best, the creme de la creme. You don't want these guys with 60s and 70s and aims where they're getting midway through the ranks and just going, no, they'll be okay. I'm, I'm fairly certain they'll be fine. No. The percentage differences equate to survivability. If you can hit the enemy more often than they can hit you and you can kill them before they would theoretically get a chance to shoot at you, that is mitigating damage. Um, there's a saying from NCIS um, when they're referring to the Marines having a, um, a medical corps um, and said, one of the recruiters in one of the episodes said that, um, I'm just trying to remember the specific quote, but I can't seem to quite get it in my head. Sort of on the tip of the tongue sort of scenario. Where they're talking about it in a way where you're going, well, you know, the Marines don't actually have a medical unit. They limit casualties by having overwhelming firepower. And that's what I'm trying to insinuate here. That you can avoid damage through firepower. You don't need to have you know, the best medical setup. You can roll five heavies if that's what you want to do and just rock Bulletstorm and Overwatch. 
and just massacre the entirety of your opponents before they get a shot at you. Admittedly, I wouldn't suggest not bringing any med packs along. Like that. That's uh, a little crazy as far as I'm concerned because I believe med packs are very useful. Oh, great shot there, Zane. We'll just move Leroy in there. Oh, great. More guys. That's exactly what I didn't need. Yeah, so that's the um, game glitching a little bit between a we've spotted new enemies slash this still guy running plus uh, an overwatch shot against him. Got a crit though, which is nice. And my game is just struggling at the moment. So let's move you there alright hang on a sec guys we're having a uh, video game lag which is popping up a lot I'll be right back alright we're back um, I just enabled uh, frame rate smoothing so that way it's a bit smoother between all the views at least that's the hope because for some reason like I'm using fraps to record this and um, it has its moments where it is a really really good system and then it has the rest of the time where it's just a piece of shit um, there's other video capture technology cards out there and everything like that there's plenty of options available to me it's just that this is what I'm familiar with from my days playing WoW um, so, I just go with what I know at the moment, and I'll expand. Ah, oh, great shot, Sahara. Um, expand outwards as I get better and better at this YouTube stuff. Oh, man. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to try... Oh, I can't really do anything there. Oh, he's on Overwatch. If that misses and I blow that up, well, I think we lose the mission. So, I've really got to be careful here. Especially with their bad aim. Oh, and now smoke. Great. And I'm just going to pause up the video. Give it back in a sec, guys. Sorry about that. I had to be an intensive and caring boyfriend. Um, yeah, as I said earlier, the girlfriend's got a bit of a broken hand, so... Not a lot in terms of options when it comes to some things. Alright, so... Alright, let's hope this works. Because if it doesn't, this could be the end of the mission right here. And why take this risk? Why not? That's why. Because I fully believe in... Eh, whatever. How the hell does he not have a shot on? He should be facing the other way. So let's move him here because he's got rock lighting reflexes. I'm just like, whatever. Let's just move Brick around a lot. He's fine. Richo Robo! Rich Robo! 41%, 83%, 83%. Let's take the statistically valued number. Bam! And video game. Wow, that that was that was terrible. Just showing the the bad quality of my um, computer at times. There, fifty-two percent. Bugger, I've got it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You don't have bullets on me either. Really. Peter's just having a serious moment. Alright, so let's see. So, Muniz is going to take her first shots, and she misses. 
She's probably going to die right now. Don't watch. He's being flanked, so he's gonna... Oh, no, thankfully. That was a little lucky. And this goes on a hit point. And, of course, he's gonna go there, and then what is he doing? That's an actual grenade. Christ. Oh, would have been better to do that strategically the other way around. Mainly because if he didn't have his cover, he would have got a statistical bonus to that shot. And we go with a 93 percentile chance there and get the kill with brick, which is nice. He gets a reload. He gets a reload. She gets an 80% chance to kill that guy. Gets the cutscene nicely done, Zahara. It's about fucking time. It's about mother trucking time. And she gets a promotion out of it. Nice. Munez gets the hit for one damage. This guy's still booting around. He's moved back to exactly where he was. Oh, because he's got hollow targeting on that guy. That's a good point. Guy only needs one hit point. Wow, come on, Fraps, pick up your game. Alright, so I just reloaded on Zahara. Gets the kill with Munez. Can't believe the other guy missed, which was just bloody ridiculous. So I've just shut down a whole bunch of exter external processes, so that should reduce the... any possibility of anything messing with my video card at the moment. And I can already see it's a massive benefit. Like, I had like some 15, 16 tabs open in Google Chrome. That resource hog! Um, which, you know, it's fine, but not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. So we're going to start moving guys to here to provide support for Munez as she does her hack. Because once the hack starts, we start dealing with the next wave of exalt. Um, just open that door in case we need to for later. Sahara can stay here, she can go on Overwatch. Munez can drop there, and then next turn she can heal that guy. Break. Chuck you there. Get you out of the fray just a little bit, because I need you to survive. Wee, so you can stay there, no one cares about you. Alright. It's just doing its save. Alright, so I've just fiddled with some of my settings. Um, probably shouldn't be doing that right now. I should probably be doing it later. But having the problems at this point in time. So that's not... Heal him a little bit. Because, you know, we could always use a little bit more hit points. And everyone else is going to get an overwatch this turn. Uh, not expecting any resistance at this point. Put you... There. Might give you a better field of view for next turn. Um, Sahara's fine there. Actually, we'll put you there. Brick, put you there. That way you can see inside the building and around that car as well. Zhang is fine there. Leroy is fine there. Sahara is fine there. And this chica will zip to there. And that'll end that turn. And here come the Exalt. Three guys on the reaction shot, one hit, one miss, and where's that last shot? Where's that last shot? Oh, there's the sniper. 
She does that on occasion. These two are going to react against this one. One hit, one miss. On a hit point, I'm going to let um, Munez take care of that. If she's got a shot, she should. So that's a hack done. And 73% chance to get that last kit. Got him! So the marining one's just there, so now it becomes a point of setting up to look up to that spot for Munez for next hack. So it becomes putting people in the appropriate spots for that one. And of course the map has multiple ones, as you can see there's an exalt relay station that isn't being used in this mission. So it'll pick two randomly and go from there. I'm going to leave Leroy there and Zahara as well on Overwatch because I want some people to react. Right, no exalt that turn. Let's move her to there. And then we'll just start sort of closing in behind her. Uh, so there's no really good spots along here until we get to about there or there. So let's go there for Conrad. Because I want someone close to her. There we go. Just had a moment. We well, try and avoid moments on this game, but they're coming more and more frequently. I believe that's because I've gone up to the full size. Um, I might, for the video card, go back down to half size, but stay on this size of a screen. Maybe we won't do 1080p for this, because there's not really much to see at times. This game isn't graphically a very pretty game and the biggest problem I'm having is the capture device. Maybe I'll change over. Um, yeah, alright, so um, I should talk about the life a little bit as well um, with the changes that is going on there at the moment. Things are a little different. Um, the girlfriend, as I said, got a bit of a broken hand nothing crazy, no, no way to worry about her, it's all good, she's got a sig sigmoid bone, I believe that's what it is, in her hand where the thumb connects, and that has been broken, it's notorious for not showing up on x-rays is broken, uh, it's one of the bones I broke when I was 12, um, I had a couple of mates who would have known me from around that time, who would know exactly what I'm talking about, uh, we've got a sniper up high, I'll we'll use Zahara to take him out, because squad site is on. Alright, now we're just going to get her to the evac point. So we're going to go around the building the way we came in. Um, but going back to the life thing. The life thing... No, it's really, she doesn't have a shot on? Ridiculous. And now she does. It's a, it's a damage. Because they're on... Oh, dear lord. Um, she's going to be down in Christchurch for a couple of days, uh, visiting her parents because of the injury. Um, so I'm going to be by myself, sitting up here while doing job searching and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, what does this mean for the channel? This means wonderful things. It means I'm going to be available more often. Um, Literally, I will have no, all, nothing but my whole day to make videos. So, those last couple of days where I haven't been putting up videos and there hasn't been much of me in, on the internet, that'll change and there's going to be a lot more all of a sudden. I'm going to try and put out three or four videos uh, every other day. Uh, just because the way the processing works. Once I do like, I do like two to three videos, uh, record them all, then process them all, then upload them all at once, you'll see that I'll have this massive burst. Whereas I know other YouTubers who go, record a video, and then they'll do all the stuff for it, and then put it up, and then they'll do the next video after that. Like, directly after that, and then do all the stuff for that, then put it up. So they'll go in, in sections like that throughout the entire day, so you don't just get 
a period of one day which is what I'm doing where there's nothing but uploads and then you know that sort of stuff but because I'm on the other side of the world to most of you guys in America and Canada and the UK and so on that doesn't matter so much for you because if I'm recording during my morning which is your late night um, it means that by the time it goes live which is your my evening uh, it'll be close to your morning again so by the time you guys wake up and everything I'll be putting up an uh, putting up all my videos so there is there is some benefit to this guys I uh, hope you realize that for me being on the opposite side of the world to all you guys so you get all these benefits of like you wake up and the videos are just there which is nice oh I can hear in the background a whole bunch of shit going on oh that's not good um yeah. Crazy. Um, yeah, just a fire truck going past. Um, thankfully, not a lot of noise from him. Cool. Got the kill because we're flanking and the in chance, increased chance of critical hit. It's exactly what we need sometimes from these guys. That little critical hit. Alright, see, so he hasn't got a shot on. Oops, that was a bad move. There you go. And that's why you try not to rush them all at once. I'm going to hold. See, so, you know, I think I was just explaining what not to do. I just did it. And that's what you sort of not want to do. You don't want that one person who's stuck in the open. Yeah, you want to be very clear on where you're moving all your guys, um, unlike what I just did, basically. Let's move him there. You want to make sure that the shield pops up and highlights blue, otherwise you'll end up doing what I did with Muniers, which is moving them and having them go nowhere. So I'm going to move Conrad there, even though he's out of bullets in his main weapon because next turn I hope he will be able to do something. Come on Zahara, come on Zahara. Oh, left him on one, damn. She did a job though. Got Robo. Love that boy, gets the kill. Can I move her into, or oh, that might count for end of the mission. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. All right, so we got out of there without too many scratches. Um, and then we'll get some guys, and I will talk you through what I do with the new people. And we will go from there. Right, so we it's picked up. Adds one damage to critical hits for each enemy squad can see. No. Yeah, let's go danger zone. Danger zone! Uh, disabling shot. Close combat specialist. When the f is she ever going to have that? Disabling shot is pretty sweet. I'll take that. Uh, Lee Roy's there for four days. That's our only loss. And we got the council on our mana. And Munez did not go up. Which is very frustrating. As you can probably understand. Alright, so we got a satellite uplink. And we also got those soldiers. We have no satellites. We now have a maximum of 11. When is our next satellite coming through? Six days, we get three more. We're going to council report by that one. We're probably going to lose some people in the council report. Alright, so let's do the soldiers. How do I not have squaddy? New guy. How do I not have new guy? Sorry, I'm just gonna. What's something I can sell? There we go. That's enough to buy it. Officer training school. New guy. Upgrade. Bam. 
view soldiers there we go retroactively applies so what we're looking for is 75s and above um, because they're squaddies now and not rookies um, we are looking for whatever their class is plus 75 so heavy you can expect between 0 and 2 of an upgrade so if we see a 76 we're gonna go that's pretty good let's take that see a 75 still pretty good let's take that see a 71 not so good that's four percent you're talking about lost there from 71 to 75 all right that four percent doesn't sound like much in the long run but it can mean a bit um oh i don't even know what i'm going into her she needs to be dismissed and then basically i just dismiss anybody who's just not up to scratch uh, not up to scratch. Dismiss. Jesus, computer. Hurry up. I even have changed something inside Fraps. And it's just slowing it down now. She's a 72. Like, we haven't got many options at the moment. She'll stick. He's gone. Connor. Damn, man, can I get, like, one good person, please? 76 assault. That'll, that'll do for the moment. Like, she was a 75, and she only went up by 1. Or she was a 70, and went up by 6. Either way, it's fine. She's a 77. That's fine for now. Dismiss. No, not, not from a sniper. I expect more from snipers. Zero Samid Dismiss Jeez, we're not doing so well. Damn, she's atrocious. Twenty nine will, fifty six aim. This blog. Thomas Anderson. Thank you. He's a heavy though. God damn it. I did not need a heavy with eighty two. Well actually I did, but uh, and a shitty sniper gone. So uh, we got ooh, we got four new players out of eighteen, and we had to, I had to lower my um, stuff. Like she would have made it in, probably not, and definitely not. So we picked up four new guys out of that eighteen, and that, that's that's the problem with this system. This system is very elitist only, and you tend to go through your guys pretty harsh, like. I had a look at the maximum amount of guys you had to do uh, every month that you could put through the psionic training and everything like that. And I'll talk about it a bit more once we get to my other stuff. Um, where you're looking at doing as much as you can every month in terms of getting... Alright, that's, that's two I can live with. South America... Not a big loss. We got a great of a D. We lost two of your two of UFOs and a satellite. Um, we didn't do so great. Like, shut the map. We didn't do so great. We need to get Canada some coverage and get some coverage on the other ones. Admittedly, way down to one red. Uh, got a couple oranges and a couple of yellows. The rest are blues, which is good. Um, we got expert knowledge and all in, so we're doing okay there. Mhm, mm that, that's great. Where's the? Oh uh, yeah, it's the computer. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this episode. Um, I'll do a quick little overview of what's coming up for the next month so far, what we can expect, and everything else. Uh, we've got tactical rigging which is coming up, which is going to make our guys a little bit better off in a few little areas. Uh, I'm about to order some more troops. So I soldiers, let's go up to 30. Engineering. Um, yeah, we'll get there eventually. Foundry. Critical hit.
Oh, okay, increases critical hit. So if you want more crits, you pick that up. Otherwise, don't really bother. Um. All right. So that that'll do. We got some more soldiers coming in. Sixteen in three days. A couple of satellites coming in five. Tactical rigging in six. Plasma rifle in eight. Another two satellites after that in uh, fifteen days. Uh, and as soon as we get that side up and going with, um, I should say side, I should actually show you what I mean rather than just saying side. Once we get the excavation here done, we're going to put another satellite in there and do another excavation there. That should be enough for our satellite network. We're currently at 11 and we've lost two, so our maximum is still down. So we can put five more up, so that's one, two three four five and I need another three after that so one more satellite uplink will do us uh, we've lost as I said we've lost two from the you know stuff uh, covert ops we can do some more intel scanning which will get rid of um, exalt but also give us some more places to level up and in fact I'm going to do one of those now just because we kind of need it What? Whatever. Anyway, so that'll do us. Um, I'm Matt from Armstrong Gaming. This is Series 1 of XCOM. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, it's a pretty much... Uh, this is not... This is the way not to play this game a little bit because... Uh, I, I sort of messed it up. you got to learn to build your satellites first and also get some of you guys... Um, leveled up and good... Uh, the first place, like a couple of the guys I got, like um, you know, Martinez. We we all thought he was the bomb. He's got an 83 in aim, which is just not up to scratch. For the level that he is, he should be close to 100 right now. For a comparison, have a look at series two. I've got a sniper who I was saying she is underrated, not very good. She's turned out to be ridiculous. She's got like 109 at the same point. So that's like. I don't know, like 26% more aim. 26% more aim. It's a remarkable amount when you think about it like that. That's a 1 in 4 chance more than he does. He is not good. If you're looking at a sniper with an 83 aim at this part of the game, you need to dismiss him. Don't do what I did and invest in him. Don't give him gene lab technology. Don't give him meld. Get rid of him. He is atrocious. I cannot say that more clearly enough. Martinez? Atrocious. Like, yeah, he's got goodwill. That aim is sucking, though. Like, it is just subpar at best. Um, Martinez? Um, Munez? Sniper eighty one fifty one. She is she's eighty one at the first level. She's got two percent less. She has all these levels to overdo him. Yeah? We're starting to see the differences now? Yeah. Where's uh there she is. Zahara is a ninety five. She's one rank lower. She has twelve percent better aim than Martinez and she's only got 14% better than the other girl Munoz every level you can expect approximately on average 6 aim by the time Munoz gets to the same level she'll have gained 18 aim at an average that will put her 4% better than Zahara I hope this is sort of making sense to all you guys. Leave me a comment below if you're getting to this part of the video and you're actually seeing what I'm talking about because I'd really like to see if it was easy to follow and everything like that. Yes, Zahara's got like a ton of medals on her all adding to her aim. That is of course an obvious benefit. I can give her those medals too. Okay? I can give her the meld. I can, I can take care of Munez. We're probably going to invest in her at this point. Anyway, so this is Matt, this is Armstrong Gaming, this is XCOM. I'm going to end this episode here instead of continually going back about other things that I wanted to talk about. 
I hope you guys are good. I hope everyone's taking care of themselves. Look after your loved ones because they do get hurt time after time. And take care of yourselves. See you next time, guys.